It's a glorious day. Glory be to God. Who has made a day man in his power has he created a heart. Let us pray. Lord, I thank you, Lord, I worship you. I give you praise for the life you kept, for the gifts you gave to us humans, even when we least deserve it. Glory be to your name. Malikande hakasa. Liko bahe la kande abasend. Mandele ke hiara basend hito sandaya. Alikonde ke senda ya bosa. Rike dende soko pahatea. Thank you for the gift of life. A candu zehelia kasanda. Thank you for being merciful. Thank you for disgracing the works of darkness. Lord, it's a new day. Even as we are exalted of your word this morning, bless your word in our hearts, creating us the spiritual and the environments to accommodate the truths in your word. Let our hearts be turned towards the reality of this world. Thank you, Father, because I know you will bless us abundantly. Lord, I thank you. I worship you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. This morning, by the grace of God, I'm looking at the topic morning can be distrust, dangerous rather. Morning can be dangerous. First Timothy 16 For the love of money is a root of all kind of evil. Some people eager for money have withered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. The Bible does not condemn money or material possession. Some of the great people of the Bible were very rich. Abraham, Isaac, Solomon, Rephahab, the richest men of their days. God quarrel is not with material goods, but with material gods. Materialism has become the God of too many of us. It is that state in which material possession are evaluated ever elevated to the central place in life and receive the attention due to God alone. The Bible teaches that preoccupation with material possession is a form of idolatry and God hates idolatry. It poisons every other phase of our life, including our family life. The Bible declares that the love of money is the root of all kind of evil. First Timothy 16. Not money, but the love of money. The scripture is being verified in our nation, in our life today. And we are reaping what we have sown for several generations. We are at least in part suffering the consequences of our selfish preoccupation with material things to neglect of moral and spiritual values. We thought that man come of age and that God, if there was one, we thought that man 
had come of age and that God. If there was one, could be relegated to the sad one. But Jesus told the story of the man who had his bum full and he had all of his possession and he said, So take your ease, eat the drink, have a merry. Book 12, 19. He left God at and that night he died, possibly from a heart attack. And there was a voice heard from the heaven and said, You fool. Luke 12, 20. What shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Mark 8, 36. There is a day of reckoning ahead. The handwriting is on the wall. What does it say? That's a question for you. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, keep me from being mesmerized by the God of materialism. Help me remember that money is a great servant, but a terrible master. You and you alone are my master, Lord. I will love you only you. I will pursue only you. I will worship and adore only you. And Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless this word in our hearts. In Jesus' name. Amen.